Well, since they arrived in 2018, spotted lantern flies have spread to almost every county in Maryland, and now the invasive species has taken over Baltimore. WMAR 2 News' Jeff Morgan spoke with the Department of Agriculture about the outbreak that we're seeing here in the metro area. They're mainly harmless, only having a major impact on certain crops and vineyards, along with putting stress on trees. This year, the spotted lanternfly is expected to annoy people in Baltimore City and County. I guess I don't want to sugarcoat it. Um, Baltimoreans are probably going to be in for a rough time this year. Um, and it may even be climbing. Kenton Sumter, an entomologist with the Department of Agriculture, thinks they're in the metro because there's a lot of trees lanternflies thrive on in the city and the county. That could mean hundreds of the flies on your car or plants. There could be hundreds sticking to the side of your house, you know, eating garden crops. Um, on ornamental trees, on Tree of Heaven in the neighborhoods. People in Haver de Grace who have already experienced a large outbreak have said at times they can't even be outside because it's so bad. Fortunately, it won't last forever. I guess the broad take home is that no insect outbreak stays at outbreak levels indefinitely. Like there's always gonna be something eventually that will cause them to crash. The lantern flies don't provide a real threat though. They can be a nuisance. So there's no reason to panic. And there's no reason to go and use extreme methods to control them. So no need to inundate them with insecticides, especially in a city, like using a bunch of seven or ortho and spraying your house and hitting your neighbor's house. Like that's that's more of a risk to the, the user and the environment than it is to the lanternfly. If you see them, smash them. It's the best way to control the population. You should also check your car before driving out of the metro area to make sure you're not spreading them to other areas. In Baltimore, Jeff Morgan, WMAR, 2 News.